Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a letter of thanks, appreciation and gratitude from the Moroccan monarch His Majesty King Mohammed VI. His Majesty the Moroccan monarch expressed pride in his personal bond with His Majesty the King and the fraternal ties between the two royal families. He expressed appreciation, thanks and gratitude to His Majesty the King for Bahrain's support to the Moroccan identity of Western Sahara as well as for Morocco's territorial integrity during the 42nd summit of the Supreme Council of the GCC host recently by Saudi Arabia. He wished His Majesty the King abundant health and happiness and Bahrain further progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received as Safriya Palace Deputy Prime Minister, Board Chairman of the Bahrain Red Crescent Society and Chairman of the 45th Session of the Arab Red Crescent and Red Cross Organization, ARCO, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. The Secretary General of ARCO, Dr. Saleh bin Hamad Al Twedri, President of the Saudi Red Crescent Authority, Dr. Jalal Mohammed Al Uwaisi, President of the Egyptian Red Crescent, Rami Jamil Al Nadr, President of the Iraqi Red Crescent Society, Yasin Ahmed Abbas, President of the Palestinian Red Crescent Society, Yunus Nimr Al Khatib. During the meeting, His Majesty the King received Abu Bakr Siddiqui necklace first class in appreciation of His Majesty's great humanitarian efforts at the regional and international levels. It was presented to His Majesty by Dr. Tuwajri, which is one of the highest honors granted by ARCO to kings and heads of state who provided great services to the international movement and the Red Cross and Red Crescent. After that, Dr. Tuwajri delivered a speech in which he thanked and expressed appreciation to His Majesty the King. His Majesty the King welcomed the guests and expressed thanks and appreciation to ARCO and commended its important role in enhancing joint Arab humanitarian action and supporting the efforts of Arab national societies in the humanitarian and relief fields at the Arab and global levels. فمملكة البحرين بفضل الله ثم بتوجيهاتكم السديدة ذات يد طولة في ساحة العطاء لإنسان وإننا في المنظمة العربية للهلال الأحمر والصليب الأحمر نتابع بكل تقدير تلك الأعطاءات والمواقف النبيلة لخدمة العمل الإنساني من لدن مملكة البحرين على الصعيد المحلي والخارج صاحب الجلالة تقدير من المنظمة العربية للهلال الأحمر والصليب الأحمر للعطاء الإنساني البحريني فقد قررت الهيئة العامة للمنظمة في اجتماع دورتها الثالثة والأربعين منح جلالتكم قلادة أبو بكر الصديق من الطبقة الأولى والذي أتشرف اليوم وزملائي من أعضاء اللجنة التنفيذية تسليم القلادة إلى جلالتكم شاكرين ومقدرين لمقامكم الكريم التلطف باستلامها He noted the cooperation and coordination between the Bahrain Red Crescent Society and ARCO in this regard. His Majesty hailed the Kingdom's support of humanitarian and voluntary work, affirming his pride in Bahrain's honorable record and leading initiatives in the humanitarian and charity fields. His Majesty the King commended the efforts of Bahrain Red Crescent Society and his contributions in the field of relief and humanitarian work, assisting refugees and the afflicted in various countries, alleviating their suffering and providing all forms of support and humanitarian care, in addition to spreading the culture of volunteer work to consolidate the values of solidarity and cooperation in the Bahraini society. His Majesty also affirmed Bahrain's firm approach based on cooperation and solidarity with people, especially in difficult circumstances, within the framework of strengthening fraternal and humanitarian ties. His Majesty wished ARCO's president and members success in carrying out their noble humanitarian mission in the service of humanity. 
for his part, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for receiving Arco's delegation. He expressed pride in presenting the necklace to His Majesty, which reflects the high status and the respect of the organization and all societies for His Majesty for being an inspiring humanitarian leader. And to Bahrain, which does not hesitate to support humanitarian work relief and volunteering. For his part, Dr. Tuwajri expressed pride in greeting His Majesty and presenting him the organization's highest honor. He also said that His Majesty's contributions in the humanitarian and relief work sector are worthy of this gesture, which reflects the organization's admiration of Bahrain's great legacy in this field, which developed during the era of His Majesty. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safriya Palace the President of Interparliamentary Union IPU, Dorte Pacheco, under, upon his visit to the Kingdom. His Majesty the King welcomed him, noting his efforts in developing the IPU and enhancing cooperation with all parliaments and national councils. His Majesty expressed appreciation to the IPU's role in serving international peace and security and supporting issues of concern to peoples and their aspirations towards achieving stability, peace, prosperity and development. His Majesty hailed IPU in spreading the culture of human rights and coordinating positions between parliaments around the world. His Majesty also expressed appreciation for the level of close cooperation and coordination between the legislative authority and the IPU, stressing that such visits contribute to exchanging experiences, expertise and ideas at the parliamentary and democratic levels. His Majesty praised the continuous development witnessed by the parliamentary process in Bahrain and the important achievements in various fields, noting that the Kingdom is moving forward on the approach of development and modernization to build on the current achievements towards further development, prosperity and progress for the benefit of its people. His Majesty the King also hailed the spreading of the culture of democracy and human rights in Bahrain as a result of the solidarity of all its people, the achievements and contributions of Bahraini women in the development and decision-making process their efforts in the field of political participation, their presidency and membership in the Representatives Council, as well as their attainment of the highest ranks and positions locally, regionally and globally. The President of the IPU expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for the meeting, which affirmed His Majesty's keenness on supporting the parliamentary process in the Kingdom, commending Bahrain's efforts in the human rights system, especially with regard to civil and political rights and achieving gender equality, in addition to the pioneering steps carried out in the development of restorative justice. He praised Bahrain's pioneering and distinguished achievements in various fields, especially the democratic and human rights field, in light of the comprehensive development process led by His Majesty, especially in promoting the values and principles of peace, coexistence and tolerance, and supporting pluralism and dialogue in accordance with an authentic and distinct cultural system. A telephone call was held between His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the Crown Prince of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Mish'al Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad expressed his sincere congratulations on the formation of the new Kuwaiti government and wished Kuwait further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad affirmed the strong and historic bilateral ties between Bahrain and Kuwait and expressed the Kingdom's commitment to further strengthening relationships across various sectors. A telephone call was held between His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the Prime Minister of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Subah Al Khalid Al Hamad Al Subah. His Royal Highness expressed his sincere congratulations on the formation of the new Kuwaiti government and wished them every success in achieving the aspirations of the Kuwaiti people. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister affirmed that the strong and historic bilateral ties between Bahrain and Kuwait and discussed frameworks for strengthening and developing bilateral cooperation at various levels. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, visited CrossFit Rafa and Grip Fitness Center as part of His Highness's visits to sports clubs and centers that have made achievements and raised the kingdom status in various championships and participations. His Highness Sheikh Khalid met with the owners of CrossFit Rafa, Badr Yusuf and Khalid Al Rafai, and the owners of Grip Fitness Center, Abdullah Dawadi and Nasr Al Wardi. 
as well as a number of members and players. His Highness hailed the efforts exerted by the two sports centers in serving sports in Bahrain. His Highness was briefed on the programs implemented by the two centers and their plans for the coming period. He noted the role of fitness and training centers in promoting sports and healthy lifestyles. He affirmed the importance of their contributions to enhancing their partnerships with various sports authorities to achieve further progress at the sports level. For their part, the sports center owners expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Khalid for the visit, asserting that it reflects his appreciation for all sports authorities and commending his efforts in serving Bahraini sports. Under the patronage of the Southern Governor, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Governor held a ceremony honoring the supporting and cooperating authorities with all the initiatives, programs and events held by the Governor during the year 2021. His Highness praised the active role of the various authorities in the success of the events that were held throughout the year and during Bahrain's celebration of the national holidays, noting that the Southern Governor is distinguished by its approach of permanent and effective communication between various sectors. His Highness Sheikh Khalifa stated that these efforts are aimed at supporting the concept of community partnership, which has become a model to be emulated for its positive impact on the governor's community. For her part, the Director of Human and Physical Resor Financial Resources Department in the Southern Government, Maryam al Manai, affirmed that the governor's success came in exchange for the support and sponsorship of the authorities for the series of events held. His Highness the Governor honored the supporting and cooperating parties. The Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning Engineer Islam Khalaf affirmed that infrastructure projects in the Kingdom are noticeably developing thanks to the Royal Directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the support and follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The Ministry affirmed that its implementing of a number of service-oriented developmental projects to improve the services provided to citizens in the Kingdom which aim to achieve the goals of the Comprehensive Development March led by His Majesty. Majesty the King, and after the approval of the cabinet led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. 
The Ministry of Labor and Social Development held an honoring ceremony for exceptional workers and entrepreneurs, where the minister, Jamil Hamedan, honored them in recognition for their efforts in various productive sectors. Hamedan delivered a speech at the beginning of the ceremony in which he conveyed the greetings of His Majesty the King to the honored workers and his pride in the national workforce. The minister noted His Majesty's keenness on thanking and recognizing the efforts of the workforce, who were exceptional in their efforts and productivity. Hamidan added that the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister is keen on increasing economic growth and diversifying the sources of income. He highlighted the Cabinet's launch of the Economic Recovery Plan. The minister affirmed that this ambitious step came following Bahrain's success with the efforts of the, its people in achieving remarkable results in reducing layoffs uh, during difficult times and the successful implementation of the second edition of the National Employment Program 2.0. In implementation of the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to ensure the availability of basic consumer products and commodities, the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism Zayed Zayani held an extensive meeting with a number of dairy product companies within the framework of the continuous coordination between the ministry and stakeholders which contributes to securing the needs of the local market. The minister stressed the importance of the availability of these products, which are among the main consumer goods, noting the uh, continuation of efforts to uh, subsidy or to subsidy national food products of all kinds and work to expand their production. He highlighted the importance of strengthening cooperation and coordination between the ministry and uh, company owners to work on overcoming challenges that may affect the movement of the market, in line with efforts to protect consumers, providing all food commodities and ensuring that their prices have not been manipulated. As Zayani expressed thanks for the role played by dairy companies operating in Bahrain and their efforts to provide their services and products in an ever-evolving manner to ensure the stability of the local market. He also expressed thanks for the swift response and cooperation with the ministry and concerned authorities to ensure the stability of the local market. In line with His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's directives to provide 40,000 housing units and with the order of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to distribute 2,000 units to citizens, the distribution of housing units continued to beneficiaries and various governors around the kingdom. The ministry said that it is an achievement in the light of the comprehensive development process led by His Majesty the King and stressed the government's interest headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to provide 25,000 housing units for citizens and achieving the objectives of the economic recovery plan. The ministry received the beneficiaries within its pre-approved list to receive the allocation certificates in the cities of East Hid and East Hid Sitra, in addition to handing over the keys in al -Lozi. Information and E-Government Authority Acting Chief Executive and Deputy CE for Electronic Transmissions Dr. Zakaria Ahmed al khaja said that the national portal Bahrain.ph now provides 32 e-services for ID cards and civil records, which meets 95% of the government's digital transformation target. The digital transformation move is in line with the vision and directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the support of the Minister of Interior General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. And to speak more about this, we are joined on the phone by Information and E-Government Authority Acting Chief Executive and Deputy CE for Electronic Transmission, Dr. Zakir Ahmed Al Khaja. Hello, Dr. Zakaria. Can you tell us about the progress in digital transformation for identity card services and what uh, your next steps to further enhance them is? Well, uh, first of all, thank you for having me tonight. Uh, and uh, in fact, the digital transformation for ID cards is part of comprehensive uh, plan towards uh, complete digital transformation government of Bahrain. And this is the directive of His Royal Highness, the Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. Uh, in fact, we have transferred and re-engineered a total of 32 services to be delivered through Bahrain.ph, the national portal for e-government. And we reached 95% of total transformation uh, for such services, like uh, ID card services, civil data records, uh, residential addresses, and so many other services have been uh, totally transferred 
to be end-to-end -end transaction provided to our clients. In fact, I'm happy that uh, fast transformation has increased the uptake of digital services uh, for, for the IT cost. And our clients turned to use those services dramatically. And this year, uh, 2021, uh, the number uh, of online ID cards, for example, had uh, more than 361,000 transactions from an overall total of 578,000 uh, transactions. So I'm really uh, inviting and encouraging citizens and residents in Bahrain to access the national portal Bahrain.bh to use those services to save their time and effort. Definitely. Thank you very much. And that was Information and Government Authority Acting Chief Executive, Dr. Zakaria Ahmed Al Khaja. Thank you for being with us. The statistics of Our World and Data website, which specializes in global statistics, revealed that Bahrain ranked first in the percentage of COVID-19 booster dose recipients out of the total population. According to the website, 46.82% of the kingdom's total population received the booster dose. The number of COVID-19 booster dose recipients has increased in Bahrain since last November, and deaths have decreased to their lowest level since last month.